So when you're looking at a template, it's important to have your layers palette open. I've got mine here open on the right, but if you don't, you to open it, you just go to Window and click here on Layers. You can see it closed, and I'll open it up again. So just have your layers palette open. Um, that will show you all the different parts of your template. Here you can see the text layers. This one is the lines in the template here. Here's the banner. Okay, the photos and the color block layer. So the first thing you want to do when you're going to create your photo card is open the images you want to add to your template. So I'm going to go do that right now. I'm going to open up my photos. Okay, and if you're working with images that have already been cropped and edited, they should be a good size. Um, if not, if you're they're coming straight from your camera, they're going to be really big. So you'll want to crop those photos. So I'm just going to crop this one to a 4 by 6 size, 300 pixels per inch. And just makes it a little bit more manageable. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> just makes it a little bit more manageable when you're adding it to your template. So I'm going to go ahead and add these to my template right now. First thing I want to do is select where those images are going to go. So I'm going to first start by adding my vertical image to this spot right here. And so I'm going to click here on layer, photo one layer. Okay, and I'm going to go back to my image and I'm going to hit control A to select all, control C and go back to my template and control V to paste it. Okay. So that's pasting the photo right where I want it above the photo section in the template. And now, do you remember from week three's template tutorial what we do next? Next we need to create what's called a clipping mask. And a clipping mask by definition is an object whose shape masks other artwork so that only the areas that lie within the shape are going to be visible. So basically clipping the artwork to the shape of the mask, and in this case, clipping the, the photo to the shape of the mask. So this is what makes using templates so easy, is these clipping masks that eliminate the need to get your images the right size and proportions to fit within a predetermined space. You just use a clipping mask to make your image fit in the space quickly and easily. So to add our clipping mask, we're going to go up here in our layers palette to the right hand corner, and we're going to click on this little drop down arrow brings up the menu and click on create clipping mask. And you can see how the photo is now masked off to the rectangular shape that was in the template. So let's resize that by hitting control T and hold down the shift key so that it doesn't um, get distorted and just resize that photo how you'd like it. I'm going to bring it a little bit away from the edges, hit enter to apply. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and add all my other photos now. So control A, control C, and choose where I want it to go. I'll put this one right here. Control V, create clipping mask. Control T, holding down the shift key to resize it. And let's fit this photo in that area. Looks good. And I'll grab my last picture, paste it here, clipping mask, and resize. Let's make it a little bit smaller here. And that looks good. So um, one thing to keep in mind when you're adding text or images to your photo card is it's important to think ahead to the printing process and leave enough room around the edges for any cropping that could occur. Um, as a rule of thumb, don't put any text or important parts of your image more than half an inch of, of the edge to prevent things from getting chopped off in the printing process. So I think this looks good. Nothing real important is going to get cropped off if, you know, if uh, the edges get chopped a little bit. So once you have all of your images added, you can start playing around with the text and the colors. 
In the template, if you go down here and click on the color block layer, you can change out the color that's there um, to anything that you'd like. So let's click on that. And to, to change the color, you're going to go up here to select and load selection. Okay, and that's going to highlight the color block area. And to change the color, go into edit and fill. Choose color, and that's going to bring up the color picker. Now, you, you can see this little eyedropper tool. You can draw um, colors directly from your images by just clicking in your photos. Okay. So you can choose whatever color you'd like that area to be. Click OK to apply. All right. So the possibilities are endless there. You could even add scrapbook paper to that area. Um, whatever you'd like to just customize it and, and make it your own style. Next, we can go ahead and customize the text in our holiday card. You'll see all the corresponding text layers right here in the layers palette. And you can change those however you'd like. You can change the wording, adjust the colors to coordinate with your photos, um, whatever you'd like there. If you want to change the text, click on the text tool, click on the text itself, and you can retype. Or you can go here to the character Take five. Next, we can go ahead and customize the text in our holiday card. You'll see all the corresponding text layers right here in the layered palette. And you can change these up however you'd like. You can change the wording, adjust the colors to coordinate with your photos. Just click on the text tool here, highlight the text. You can change the color using your color picker. Um, you can change the wording, like I said, whatever you'd like there. Um, you can also make note that you can change the size and proportions of any element in the template, including the text, by clicking on the corresponding layer. Um, let's just try it with the banner. If you click on the banner layer here and hit Control T, you'll see that it highlights the, that layer. And by holding down the Shift key, you can, you can change it proportionally, the size, however you'd like. So really, there's a lot you can do to customize these templates and make them your own style. But essentially that's it. That's I think that took less than five minutes to put the whole card together. I think that's pretty simple and quick. And so next step, once you've got your card just the way you'd like it, we need, need to think about printing. And there are a few things you need to keep in mind when you're printing your holiday card. So the first thing you're going to do is save your card and you want to save it as a high quality JPEG. So let's go ahead and save it. Click on File, Save As, um, let's just call it Holiday 2014. I'm going to save it as a JPEG, okay? And I'm going to save it at the highest quality. I want it the highest quality for printing, okay? All the photo templates are already 5 by 7 and 300 DPI, so just the right size for printing. When you're adding your image, make sure your images, make sure that you're adding high res um, images. Otherwise, you could end up with grainy, pixelated cards, and you don't want that. So once you have your card saved, you're ready to upload it to your favorite online photo photo lab. I love using Persnickety Prints. Their print quality is amazing, and I love um, the paper options they have, the thick quality paper that they offer is perfect for printing cards on. Um, I've also printed my cards inexpensively at Costco in the past and been happy with the results there. So where you go depends on who you trust and what your budget is. So do your research and find a good quality printer. And I totally recommend Persnickety Prints. Um, a few more tips when it comes to printing your cards. Make sure that you save a layered version just in case you need to make any last minute edits before you print. And as I also mentioned earlier, leave a good half inch of space around the important elements on your card so nothing gets cut off. And one other thing that I always recommend is before I order an entire um, lot of Christmas cards, I always have a test print done. I'll order one card so I can check the colors, the crop, etc. And then when I'm satisfied with the printed results, then I'll order all my cards. I just think it's better to be safe than sorry. And also, be sure you leave plenty of time to get your images printed because photo labs can get extra busy around the holidays.
And that's about it. I, I really love creating my own holiday cards each year, and I hope you enjoy these fun templates. 